Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. We're continuing this week with our special focus on finalists for this year's Naya Marsh Awards for the Best in New Zealand Crime Fiction. Today, let's turn the spotlight on Ben Sanders' The Devils You Know. Vincent is a former covert operations agent for the U.S. government. A disastrous mission has put him out of that job, and he wants to change anyway. So he's interested when he learns that wealthy Los Angeles supermarket tycoon Eugene Lamar wants to hire a security expert. Vincent takes the job on the condition that he won't have to carry a gun. Lamar agrees, and Vincent takes up his work. At first, the job is easy. Lamar only requests his presence when he's on the golf course or for some other short trips. So Vincent has time to surf, sit by the pool, time to himself, he also meets Lamar's daughter, Erin Jones. He is attracted to her, and it seems the feeling might be mutual, but he doesn't really pursue this, at least not at first. In the course of his job, Vincent begins to notice some things that seem strange. He's noticed some unsavory types who may, not, who may be or may not be following his boss. And he starts to wonder if there's something more to this job than he'd thought. Why, for instance, does Lamar need a panic room filled with weapons? If he's simply a grocery, a grocery owner, a grocery business executive, why would he need all those weapons? And why does he need a security system? As he starts asking questions, Vincent learns that Lamar is involved with some very dangerous people, and he's caught in a very dangerous situation. Soon enough, the situation explodes, and Vincent finds that he and Aaron could be at risk. So in part because he has feelings for her, in part because it's his job, and in part because Aaron insists on it, Vincent starts an unofficial investigation. Aaron works with him, and the two try to work out the truth before they get killed. So what are the elements in this story? What holds it together and keeps it going? Well, this is a thriller. So there are elements of that subgenre in the story. There's a fast pace, narrow escapes, multiple murders, and unreliable characters. There's also a larger plot that Vincent uncovers as the story unfolds. Another element in the story is the setting. The story takes place mostly in the Los Angeles area, and Sanders sets the reader in that region. There are clear depictions of different places in greater Los Angeles, and the setting suits the story. There are also the characters of Vincent and Aaron. The story is told from Vincent's point of view, third person, past tense. So we learn a lot about him. He's a little world weary and certainly sick of war, of killing and of bloodshed. He's seen the damage that guns can cause and although he understands why people want guns, he won't have one himself. He lives life by his own terms and isn't in awe of his employer or any of the wealthy people that he meets. His goal is a peaceful life as he ages. Readers who are tired of demon-haunted, drunken slews who can't function will be pleased to note that Vincent isn't like that. He has scars, as we all do, but he isn't frozen in place by them. For Aaron's part, she's bright, strong-willed, and quick-thinking. She's an accomplished professional journalist who's willing to do the work it takes to get the story and, in this case, answers to her questions. She's also the daughter of a wealthy man, so she's used to having what she wants. For all that, though, she's not spoiled. Readers who like strong female characters who are not superheroes will appreciate Erin. And lest you think that her relationship with Vincent turns the novel into a romance, fear not. Their relationship doesn't overtake the main plot in the book. The Devils You Know it's a Los Angeles-based thriller that features a complicated plot involving very dangerous people and a wealthy magnate who, who only thinks he can handle the web he's in. It's told from the perspective of a smart, skilled ex-agent who sees what's happening around him and does his best to use his skills to get the answers he wants. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.